Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Ready to bring the power of Notion right into your automated workflows. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to connect Notion to make calm, so you can automate repetitive tasks, streamline your processes, and make your work a whole lot easier. By the end of this video, you'll have Notion and MakeCom talking to each other seamlessly, and you'll be able to unlock a world of integrations. Let's get started. First, let's kick things off by heading over to MakeCom. If you haven't been there before, MakeCom is a powerful automation platform, kind of like IFTTT or Zapier, but with some extra flexibility. Once you're there, look for the option to create a new scenario, or as they call it, create items. This is where you'll build the magic that makes Notion work with other apps. It might take a moment to find your way around if you're new, but no worries, you'll get the hang of the interface as you go. Now in your scenario, you'll want to add Notion as a module. Just type Notion in the search bar and select it. Then choose the Watch Database trigger. This step is important because it tells Make to start paying attention to your chosen Notion database, like putting a security camera at your front door to watch for packages. You're basically telling Make, watch this place for any changes or updates. But for MakeCom to communicate with Notion, you have to set up a secure connection. When you're prompted, click to create connection. This is where you'll be linking the two services. Select Notion internal as your authentication type. Now it'll ask you for a few pieces of info, and that means it's time to pop over to Notion. So over in your Notion workspace, locate the database or page you want to connect. You'll find three dots at the top right of the page. Go ahead and click those. From the dropdown, look for connections and then manage connections. What we're doing here is creating an integration that's like giving MakeCom a personalized pass to interact with your Notion account. Now either develop or manage an integration. Hit New Integration and give it a clear name you'll remember, something like MakeCom Integration Works Perfectly. Next, pick the workspace you want this integration to access. It's safest to start with Internal, that way only you or your team can use this integration. Don't forget to click Save. After saving, Notion will generate an internal integration secret. It's like a long secret password that MakeCom will use. Click show and copy this code. It's important, so keep it in a safe spot or just leave it on your clipboard for now. Jump back over to MakeCom and paste the secret code where it asks for the integration token. This step can feel technical, so take your time. This secret makes everything secure and lets MakeCom automate tasks on your behalf without handing over your Notion password. Almost done. Now return to your Notion page. Up at the top of your browser, look in the URL bar and copy the long string of letters and numbers after Notion, so slash, that's your database ID. This is how MakeCom knows exactly which database to watch or edit. Finally, switch back to MakeCom and paste this database ID where required. Double check everything then click save, and that's it, you've successfully connected Notion to MakeCom. Now your workflows are ready to level up with automation. If you run into any hiccups along the way, don't panic. Sometimes permissions or IDs can trip you up, so just double check each step. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment with any questions or tips you discovered. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more walkthroughs just like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.